Hello everyone, in this video we're going to show you how an Excel workbook can be transformed into a web application and we're also going to create a workflow around it using Spreadsheet Web. Here I have a business owner's policy calculator, also known as a BOP Rater. Insurance companies use these types of tools to let their clients or underwriters come up with a quote in no time. But these types of applications often require some complex logic to run in the background. This spreadsheet receives user input, processes them through a bunch of formulas and data, and then gives the premium results in the output page. Let me show you how this works by entering some values. Let's also enter an amount for building insurance and business property insurance. Going to the second page, we get the calculated premiums. Now let's take a look at the web application. I'm not going to go into the details of the conversion process in this video, but if you'd like to learn more, be sure to check out our other videos. Putting the web application and the Excel model side by side, we can see that the look and feel is almost exactly the same. We have the same type of inputs carried over, like the drop downs or the radio buttons. And we also have the same color scheme and even the formatting. However, I can't see any of the formulas, data, or any other sheet. I can't mess with the formulas or cells. This helps you share the Excel model securely. Special Web only uses your workbook as a base where it pulls the formulas and data from. The software mimics Excel features and uses its own calculation engine to run the formulas. Every time we fire this web application, we essentially create a new record. When one of our clients decides to save their record, they can do so by using this button here. Let me go back and enter the same values into the web application. Pressing the save button will save the predefined inputs and or output fields into the database. Let's say we want our underwriters to be able to export this page in PDF format and get a printout. A PDF format export is the best approach here because it always gives consistent results unlike getting a printout from a web browser directly. Pressing export, we get the predefined page ready for printout. Spreadsheet Web features a web interface which allows you to interact with saved records and other features. If our underwriters or clients wanted to make changes to their codes, they can do so from the control panel. Now I'm going to log out and then log back in to show you the landing page. This page is called the control panel. Here's a list of web applications I have in my account. And the BOP Rater application we were using can be accessed from here. This purple icon shows that this application has data saved into it. Clicking the icon, we are directed to the data page where saved records can be accessed. We can open a record in edit mode to make any necessary edits. Clients or sales reps can make changes to their quotes at a later time by opening a record and making changes and then save the record to keep their latest updates. Let's try changing one of the premium values. The building premium was updated and now our underwriter can save this record into the system. 
Whether it is to run a what if scenario or just creating a new record with similar inputs, we can simply copy this record and create an identical one. Copying a record will create a new record and pre-populate it with the inputs from the original one. We can simply make any necessary changes and then save it to add it as a new record. Now I have two codes for the same company. Some businesses might also want to add an approval system into this workflow. This can be done directly through Spreadsheet Web. All records that have been newly added have a status of new. If you needed one of our underwriters to approve this record before sending it to our clients, we can simply assign, it, assign this particular record to one of our underwriters. I can do this by going to the status page of this record and then transferring it to a user. This user, Kanye West, is one of our underwriters and I'm simply going to assign it to him. And then save it. Now I'm going to log in from Kanye's account and review that code. Kanye is a limited user in this system and he, he has no access to the applications page or data that hasn't been assigned to him. As you can see, he can only see the one record that was just assigned to him. But our underwriter can go into this record, into this code, and simply review it. And once they approve, its status can be changed to approved. Going back to my admin user, let's see what happened to this particular record. The first record that we created has now been approved and this can be seen by anyone who have access to this record. As you can imagine, it might get more and more challenging as we have more underwriters and more records, more codes being written in our system. To be able to identify what changes have been made to this code or who approved this, it's going to get hard to track these changes. We can see the log of this record by going to the history page. Here we have access to all changes made and exactly what has been changed. And we can also see who approved this record. By its nature, this coding tool is going to build up more and more records in time and it's going to get hard to track all of them. We might also want to see what types of premiums are most prevalent or where our users are located or what deductible types are most popular. And the best way to see this through a bunch of records, a bunch of data is to visualize the data. Special Web has a built-in data visualization tool which can be used to pull data from web applications and visualize them on a dashboard. Here's a dashboard that I created before, and let me just quickly walk you through what it can show you. This is a fully interactive dashboard, and I can hover my mouse over these fields to see the data. Our analysis can also interact with these filters to narrow down the results. And we can also see which deductible types are most popular building protection levels and construction types are all visible in one dashboard. Our analysts, underwriters, admin users, and our clients using this one ecosystem is going to get kind of hard to track all activity in the system. And also those of you who are familiar with services such as Google Analytics know the importance of tracking your users. Special Web's analytics page can help you track your users and all activity in your system. I can filter down the results by applications. I'm going to choose View Operator. And the updated results show me all changes and access to this web application. Here I can even see where my users are coming from and access details. All sorts of applications and tools have a lifespan and naturally sooner or later you're going to want to update the data or the formulas inside your workbook. If this was a custom application created from scratch, you would have to talk to your developers, put in a change request, and have them do the work for you, even for, for the smallest changes. Capitalizing on your knowledge of Excel, 
Spreadsheet Web aims to remove this hassle and let you update your web applications all by yourself. Going back to the applications page, I can download the underlying Excel model for this web application. Let me quickly save this file and then open it. To demonstrate how this works, I'm simply going to multiply these, these two premium fields by 10 and then save it and then simply re-upload it into this existing web application. I'm simply going to drag and drop my file into this field and then save it. This solves one huge problem with desktop applications and that is versioning. Now that I have updated this web application, I can be sure that all users accessing this will have access to the latest version of this tool. Let's go back to the application and enter the same numbers we entered before. I'm only going to fill out the premium fields. And then go to the output page. As you can see, both premium values have been multiplied by 10. Changes to the data or formulas in web applications can be done in a very short amount of time and it doesn't require you to make any changes in the code. Spreadsheet Web offers an all-in-one solution to many problems that come with using Excel spreadsheets. However, Spreadsheet Web aims to improve the way an Excel model works and it utilizes your knowledge in Excel to offer a better solution by transforming your workbooks into web applications. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website if you have any questions.